Example 1, factorising a simple quadratic. So we're trying to factorise x squared minus 9. You can see this is in the form a squared, so in this case a is x, minus b squared. So this is a difference of two squares, where we know that we can factorise this to a minus b times by a plus b. So what we can do is set x squared equal to a squared and 9 equal to b squared. From there, if we can find a and b, then from that point it'll be relatively straightforward. So square root both sides of this one, the square root of x squared is just x, the square root of a squared is just a, so a is x. This one do the same thing, so square root both sides, we get 3 is equal to b. From there we just need to substitute these into this and then it will be factorised. So that ends up as x minus 3 times x plus 3. These two, x minus 3, x plus 3 is completely equivalent to x squared minus 9. Example 2, removing a common factor. So you might notice here we've got 4x squared minus 100y squared. This is being times by 4 and nicely 100 is also a multiple of 4. So what we can do is factorise this to start with to 4 times 4x squared divided by 4 is x squared and then 100 divided by 4 is 25 so it means this ends up as 25y squared. Now it might not be immediately obvious but this is now in the form 4 times a squared minus b squared. So again it's a difference of two squares so we hopefully we can factorise this to the form 4 times a minus b times a plus b. Comparing this form and this form, you'll notice a squared must be x squared. So then a, if we square root both sides, will be x. Then you'll also notice b squared is equal to 25y squared. Now, this might be a little bit trickier than you're usually used to. Square root b squared, we get b. But then the right-hand side, we're going to have to do it as two sort of separate things. But because they're multiplied together, we can just write them next to each other after. The square root of 25 is 5, then the square root of y squared is just y, so b is 5y. From there, we just need to substitute these into this. So our final answer will be that 4x squared minus 100y squared is equal to 4 times by a minus b, so that's x minus 5y, times by a plus b, so x plus 5y. Example 3, factorising a quadratic involving thirds. So factorise y squared minus 7. Again, you may notice that this is in the form a squared minus b squared, but here 7 is not a square number, so it's a little bit trickier to square root. But we can approach it in the same way. So we can say that a squared is y squared. This is really easy to deal with, just square root both sides, we get a equals y. The other side is going to be b squared is equal to 7. And again, you might be thinking, well, 7 isn't a square number, we can't square root that. But what we can do is just leave it as a third, so b is root 7. Now we know that we can factorise this into a minus b times by a plus b. So substituting these into this, we'll get y minus root 7 in one bracket times by y plus root 7 in another bracket. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that should explain all of the steps needed to solve the problem.